Hey friend, in this video we are painting a cluster of loose style poppies and there is a giveaway. I'm giving this exact, this actual piece away. So stick till the end of the video to find out how to enter into the giveaway. Um, but first let's learn how to paint this bad boy. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm grabbing my size 16 round heritage brush. Um, we have all the supplies linked below, of course, in all of our videos. This is my favorite brush for doing my bigger flowers. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to use this one brush for three different perspectives on a poppy flower. Um, you can Google image poppies. I'm gonna do this like oriental poppy. It's like a reddish orange color. I'm going to use Scarlet Lake and a touch of Cadmium Rose for my mixture. And I'm going to start with my middle poppy. Um, because it's just a group or a cluster of three, I'm going to kind of make this triangular composition with my floral heads, like the actual blooms. So I'm going to have my middle flower be the tallest and then my two side facing flowers are going to be kind of pointing off to the side and come lower. So I'm going to start by pointing my brush at the center of where the flower will be. And the angle of my brush is about 25, 35 degrees away from my paper. And I'm just going to point, press, and curve in, kind of like I'm making a parentheses. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and maybe grab a touch more orange for this stroke and then curve in towards that. So there's my one petal. I'm going to release some of that pigment from my brush because we want variety in all of our petals. They're not all going to be hit by the light in the same angle. So some are gonna be lighter, some are going to be more red, some are gonna be more orange. So the stroke is just, I'm rotating my brush by um, the handle of the brush, but still keeping the point pointed at the center of the flower. And then I'm pressing and curving in and making kind of like teardrop shapes for each petal. This one had three C curves. This one had two. I might do three over on this other side as well. So I'm pointing, or actually it might be thinner. Pointing, pressing, and curving in. Make sure you're leaving little gaps of white space between each petal. That's gonna show that it's not just one big blob. And then right here, I'm gonna show the top edge of a petal. Um, that's the only spot showing. So we've got this top edge of the petal. I'm pointing my brush towards the edge of the, where the petal is with no pressure, just using the tip of my brush, then putting pressure and then releasing. So we've got the top edge of this petal here and we're gonna leave that center open and move on to our next flower, our next poppy. This next poppy is gonna be a little bit further down. Hello, a little drop, that's okay. A little bit further down and it's going to be side facing. So this one is like a three quarter perspective. We can see the center or the stamen of the flower, which we'll put in there once these petals dry. And then these other two, I'm just gonna be showing the sides of the petals. So we're gonna do the same type of stroke, same angle, point, press, curve in. Maybe grab a little more pigment for this next stroke. Point, press, curve in. and then just one little stroke on the side. And we can also do a couple of these dots or strokes on top to show the top edge of the petals in behind this front section of petals poking up. Maybe this next poppy will be more orange. So point towards the stem of the flower, point, press, curve in, curve in. Then maybe lighten it, dab to get rid of excess water. And our tops. I'm gonna soak up some of this excess water with a dry brush.
So we get some dimension maybe over here too. And then this flower is definitely sticking out too much because it's way too orange compared to the others. So I'm just gonna go over some of its spots that are still wet with Scarlet Lake to make it blend in a little bit more. So I don't want people's eyes to go directly to that spot. I kind of want them to gracefully move across the page. Okay, so now that I've got my main blooms, I'm going to grab some um, sap green for my stems and leaves. Red's contrasting color is green. I'm gonna offset that a little bit and add some yellow to the green to make it really pop and be a little more vibrant. So I'm gonna pull these stems directly from the middle of um, the top petal. So I'm pulling it through here. Using little to no pressure. Then I'm going to, with about a 75 degree angle tilt on the handle of my brush, I'm going to use little to no pressure and bring out a C-curve stem there. And these are poppies, so I'm just gonna kind of jut out these leaves a little bit. So they've got some texture. They're longer kind of spiky edge leaves. So I'm starting with the C curve, then I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way of that C curve and apply a little bit of pressure and gradually release for a fine tip. Then I'm just going to pull out little versions of that on the sides. If you need more help with your leaves, we have a full series on watercolor leaves. So make sure to go check that out. We'll link it in this video for you to go watch. Cause they can be tricky. Okay, now more stems for our other flowers. Pull the stem from the middle here. Little overlap never hurt nobody. And our final stem. So some of these leaves are more green than others. Some are more lemon yellow deep in green mixture. It's gonna help add some layers and depth. Now all we gotta do is wait for these petals to dry so we can add in the stamen, the darker stamen. But I'm gonna start first with, even though it's still a little wet, I'm just gonna start with a little base layer of some yellow, lemon yellow deep. I'm gonna dot that around. And this color is okay if it blends and bursts into the red. But then I'm gonna add like a dark brown with some black in it and I don't want that to mix in with my red. 
All right, so now we're just gonna add a couple little eyelashes, as I like to call them, to the stamen area. Um, I'm gonna use my size 16 brush again, but if you feel like you have more control with these smaller strokes with a smaller brush, then by all means, you do you. But I'm just grabbing Burnt Umber and some Mars Black, so we have a darker brownish color for this. And I'm going to just use the tip of my brush with little to no pressure on my brush and bring up these C curves. Like so, and then maybe one, one more over here. And then we got some dots. There you have it, folks. There you have it, a cluster of cute little poppies. Um, and this is a giveaway. I'm giving this away to one lucky winner. So to enter in to win this piece, comment below with something great, amazing, fun, whatever that's happened to you this year in 2020. So it's been kind of a downer of a year for most people, all people uh, to certain levels and degrees. Comment below below with something fun, good, great. Yeah, <laughs> that's happened to you in 2020. And we will enter in all the names and do a Google random select. And this piece will be shipped out to one lucky winner. Uh, we'll be doing other giveaways too in the future and other fun videos in the future. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you see all of our videos in the future and you don't miss any of them because they're the best. So to enter into the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber of our channel, like this video and comment below with one thing that's been good, great, amazing, whatever about 2020 that's happened for you this year. Do it and we'll announce the winner very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>